now to discuss what the issues uh, are that matter to the youth this election cycle. We have the chairman of the RNC's Youth Advisory Board, Braylon Holland, along with the vice chairman of the George Washington College Republicans, Kieran Laffey, and Gen Z commentator and podcast host, Christian Hodges. Good to see all three of you today. Appreciate you young. Appreciate you working hard. As you should be. We've got a bright future in this country uh, if you are any representation. Breland, I'm going to start with you. Uh, Katya said it's, w Trump is um, there 12 to 20. Exactly. Spread, yes. Right? Uh, yeah. Kamala Harris is ahead of Donald Trump with uh, about 12 percent of the younger vote. However, President Biden was ahead of Trump last election in 2020 with 20 percent. So, so okay. the edge of the Democratic candidate, not as big as it was last time around. Breland, is that what you're hearing? That's exactly what I'm hearing. I've spent the past seven and a half years traveling on college campuses, speaking directly to my peers. This past weekend, while Tim Wallace was playing video games and Kamala Harris was dodging the press, President Trump actually sat down with Joe Rogan for three hours. He's spending time talking to direct Americans, giving a clear message. And he spent that interview doing a closing argument, giving his final pitch uh, to my generation for election day. And to any of my peers listening today, I want to encourage them to listen to that message. It's a very simple one. Kamala Harris broke it, Donald Trump will fix it. To anyone out there right now, I mean, I know you're frustrated. I know everybody's upset with the economy, with the border, with inflation, with not being able to start a family or buy a home. Right now, if you vote for Donald Trump, life will be easier and we can all understand that. Kieran, what are, what are you observing? What are you talking about with people within your own age group? Uh, how do you think people your age are viewing this election? What is the most important thing to them? I think the, the message has been clear that, especially young voters, we want to see change. It's not going to come with Kamala Harris. She's even admitted it. You look what you said in The View and some other times. And I know I, we saw this Joe Rogan podcast. It's got 35 million viewers on YouTube. And that's a podcast that has a lot of young folks who watch it, including myself. And we look at the early voting numbers. It's, it's, coming, it's becoming a reality. I was an early voter. I'm proud to be one. And I think we have a real authentic candidate in Donald Trump and one in Kamala Harris who has no original thoughts or policies. And I think it's really showing. Christian, we are so short on time. You got 20 seconds here. Give us your take on the youth vote. Look, I'm telling my peers not to give up. Our country isn't over yet. America is still the best last chance we have outside of Christ to save our nation. And Donald Trump is the only candidate who could put, put us back on track. So next Tuesday, I'm looking forward to uh, going to vote for President mm -hmm. Trump, unlike Harry Sisson. There we go. We love it. Breland, Kieran, Christian, we're short on time. As I said, we appreciate you coming on. Keep working hard.